Did you know a Canadian resume should only be two pages long and tailored for every job that you apply to? Watch this video to learn more about how to specifically tailor your resume to land the job that you would like. Chronological resume. Choose this resume type if you have a logical, progressive work history that you want to showcase to your potential employer. Step one, make sure your name, location, and phone and email address are clearly stated. Ensure your phone number is located and include one professional email address. A professional email address includes maybe your first and last name and doesn't have any or many numbers or sayings in the email. For example, if your name is Joe Smith, your email could be j.smith at gmail.com. This would be a professional email. Step two, create a highlights of qualification and skills section. Include five points. Your first point or first statement summarizes the experience you have related to your job objective. For example, one year experience in graphic design. Your second statement describes working knowledge of the various components or aspects of the position. For example, budgeting, report writing, program planning, etc. Your third statement outlines the various skills, strengths you possess to do the work effectively. For example, problem solving, communication, time management. Your fourth statement may refer to any academic background you have that complements your practical experience. For example, machine design, resource assessment, or marketing. Your fifth statement lists your personal characteristics and attitudes as required on the job. For example, being reliable, able to work under pressure, or being creative. Your third step is your education section. Write your educational experience in chronological order. Include relevant credentials and trainings that are needed for the role that you are applying to. For example, you will write bolded name of the credential or title that you held. Then you will put the month and year that you finished this training in. And you will put the institution name along with a location for that institution. This location, if it is in Canada, will be the city and province. If it's outside of Canada, you will just name the country. The purpose of this is to keep your resume with only the information that is needed for the employer to keep it as simple as possible. Step four is your work experience. Keep your last 10 years of experience on your resume. Bold the position title and dates go on the right side of the page. Include the company and country's name if experienced outside of Canada. This is the same for your educational section. Include three to four points and describe the scope of your role. Use action verbs to begin a statement. Step five, volunteer work is given a lot of importance in Canada. Employers prefer to hire candidates who are active in the community. Volunteering is a way to showcase and enhance your skills and work experience. Include volunteer work experience obtained in Canada or outside of Canada. Step six are your references. Generally, three references are required in Canada. If you are very new to Canada, two can be non-Canadian. For references outside of Canada, include their name, position title for how you know this person, and the company and email address only. We only include the email address and not the phone number because of the time difference change that may make it hard for the potential employer to contact your reference. For Canadian references, include their name, position title, company's name, phone, and email address. Obtain your references consent before using their information. So ask your references for the preferred email and phone number that they would like to have potential employers contact them with. 
Choose references whom you have worked with in a professional capacity and who can promote you and your work ethic to your future employer. References are generally people who have seniority over you or supervised you and can speak to how good your work ethic is. Make sure the people you ask for references are people you have a good relationship with. A functional resume is suitable when you are lacking formal work experience for a specific job, but you have transferable skills to perform the duties that you are applying to. For example, you are an engineer and you are choosing to apply to a customer service role in a retail store. Start your resume with an education and certification category and include anything relevant to the role you are applying to. Create a summary of skills section. The summary of skills section helps you to summarize the key skills that you possess that an employer is looking for in the job posting. Highlight skills you have acquired and how well you accomplish the tasks. Usually this section includes two to four subsections of skills that are chosen based on what is listed in the job posting. Begin statements with action words or verbs and think about showcasing your accomplishments. Next is your work experience section. List the places where you have worked. This is different than a chronological resume because you do not need to list the responsibilities that you held in each job position. Include your volunteer work as another section and any other relevant activity and interest. In Canada, you can choose to have references available upon request where your potential employer will contact you to receive your references. If your employer asks for references in the job posting, make sure to include them in your resume or else it may appear like you don't pay attention to detail. Though in the beginning of this video, we said resumes should only be two pages long, you can have a third page, but only if it is listing your references. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck with finding employment in Canada.